Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a comparison between these five different tape dispensers. So I got the Mr. Pin tape dispenser, I got the Duck tape dispenser, Amazon Basics tape dispenser, and on in the back side I got two different models of the 3M tape dispenser. Okay, so I am going to go in order that I like the most. So number one choice is Mr. Pin. It retails for $6. Next is Duck. It retails for $14. The third one is the Amazon Basics. It retails for $15. Around back, I just recommend staying away from the 3M. This is a heavy duty 3M and it's $13. And then this is the commercial one. This is the commercial 3M that has this movable, the teeth move when you do this. I highly recommend you stay away from this. It's $30 and it's very hard to use and doesn't work very well. And Miss Fiona has come up from her nap for a treat. Okay, so I really do like the Mr. Pin. I thought it just worked the best. It was the easiest one to use. It cut the tape every time I wanted to cut it. Again, these are fixed, these little teeth right here. Now, most of them come with the teeth covered, so make sure you remove that. The tensioner was set. If you don't have the tensioner set right, this roll will unwind on you as you, as you use it, so make sure the tensioner was set. Feels the best in my hand. It's kind of the lightest weight, and this is a metal part right here. Okay, so let me demonstrate how easy it is to use. You're gonna press it down, and when you wanna tear it, just press it against and kind of turn a little bit. It just works very, very well. Next, we got the duct. I thought the duct worked really well too. Also, again, adjust the tension. The tension was a little loose on this when I first got it. The grip is a little bit shorter and a little bit fatter, but it feels okay, and it does a pretty decent job. Again, same thing, these teeth are fixed. You can see they're really sharp. You're going to put it on there like this. So there's wow, that one. That one worked very well. Amazon Basics. Again, it's got the teeth. The teeth are fixed. So when you want to tear the tape, you got to push in and kind of turn. Again, a tensioner. We've got this little thing here is spring loaded. So let's put it on. When we want to tear, push in and kind of turn. So as long as we're keeping it held out, it's not going to tear. But when we want to tear it, push it in. This one works very well too, fits in the hand. Kind of a skinnier handle, taller. Now 3M, This there's two different kinds of 3M. This is a fixed teeth or the part that tears the tape. This is their commercial one and it, it moves. So in order to get the teeth to tear the tape, you have to move this, which you do that by pressing in on the box, but I don't think this one works very well, the commercial one. This one works okay. Let's give it a try here. You're gonna put it on there like this. Again, you're going to press and tear. I did find the tape is sticking to this part right here. Just, it seems like it's stuck to it quite a bit sometimes. It's probably the lightest weight of all the tape dispensers. This is metal. The handle's a little bit shorter in there. Um, again, you got to set the tensioner. The tensioner was really loose on this. So again, when you stop like that, the tape should stop. Otherwise it could keep going and it will make a mess. That's what that tensioner does. It doesn't expand this inside there. It's, it's how hard this rolls. Now here's the commercial one. Yeah, it's probably the biggest of the ones again, but you run into problems tearing the tape. It does a good job dispensing, but to get it to tape, to get it to tear, you got to press in to engage that right there, which can be a little tricky. So let's try it again press in. If you've got everything going right, it does work okay, but getting you have to press that in to get those teeth to come out to tear that tape. And that double, that just adds another step. Um, again, it's got a tensioner on here. This is spring-loaded also. But when we go back to the Mr. Pin, you know, it just works. It just does a really good job of working. Okay, so any three of these, but you can't beat the price on the Mr. Pin. I got two of them for 12 bucks, and it comes with some, some tape. I would just completely stay away from the 3Ms, especially this one. I did not realize there was a, there was a need for a video on tape dispensers because I reviewed this one. And, you know, I was having problems with it, but I showed people how to use it. And I'm, I'm amazed how many views this video got. 
And in the comments, no one liked it hardly. They said it doesn't work very well. And then I started reusing it again. I'm thinking, you know what? I'm going to check it with these other ones that are best selling. And you're right. This 3M one, it may be in an industrial setting where you've got the rhythm down and you're doing it every day. This one might be the best one. This one, this 3M one where the teeth don't move, they're stuck. I, I didn't like it. It just got, kept getting caught right here. It would stick to this. I'm not sure why. Again, the, the Mr. Pin, the duck was, you know, these are pretty close to being tied, but you've got kind of a different grip. This one, again, this is a little bigger grip. This one's a smaller. So if you have a smaller hand, this one might work better. You know, they both feel about the same. I thought they both worked good. They just, they just work. The Amazon Basics, I did have a few hiccups with it. I like that this is spring-loaded here. You know, on the duck, that's not spring-loaded. It kind of resembles more of the 3M. Kind of, they're almost a duplicate. Yeah, but they got different teeth. The duck teeth seem to work a little bit better. And then over here, we can see uh, the teeth. You know, the Mr. Pin, it just works. I'm, I'm very impressed with this one. So I'll put links to these in the show description notes. I definitely would recommend, you know, my top three. If you could, give the video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. That helps my YouTube channel. If there's any other things you'd like to see reviewed or compared, please let me know. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And if you could, please like and subscribe. And thanks so much for watching.